of great. I mean, first and foremost, it was it was awesome to be out in, in eastern Kentucky and see you know all the fans that we have out there. It was just uh, it was an awesome time. They they treated us great and and I uh, think everybody everybody enjoyed it. It was uh, it was good to be out there. It was good to get on a bus and try you know get a get a road game so to speak uh, for for the guys, especially our you know maybe our redshirt freshmen that were counting on start out with a with an away game. So it was good to. Good to get out there and get on the road, give them kind of that little, little bit of taste of that experience. And then uh, the scrimmage itself, I mean, I thought it was the best scrimmage we've, we've had since we've been here. Uh, I thought uh, offensively, ran the ball well, play action pass, uh, spread the passing game around. I mean, we, we had uh, tight ends caught the ball, running backs caught the ball, wide receivers caught the ball. Uh, so I thought the run game was good, play action pass was good, spreading the ball around uh, was excellent, moved the ball. Defensively, you know, run, guys were running and hitting and, and just really, really playing fast. I mean, they really understand the scheme and, and just out there playing with very, very high motor and very high intensity. And, and there, was a, there was a lot of hitting going, going around. It was, it was fun to watch. Yeah, just, you know, more of the same. You know, we really wanted to, to uh, find out the guys that were going to unify together, you know, find out the guys that were going to, you know, put team above self and, and everything that they did. And, and uh, you know, everybody's got a job to do on this team. Everybody's job's important. And we need to find the guys that could, could uh, fit in their role and, and uh, you know, do what we need them to do the best of their ability. And, and we're starting to find that. It's, it's good. To, uh, our running game's really going. Our offensive line, I think, are, are coming together as a, as a cohesive unit. We got basically, with the exception of Chris Crack, all of them back again. And so I think that's big, been a big help for them. Uh, and then also, I just I just think we've got some guys stepping up at the running back position. Uh, Jeremiah Williams uh, looks great. Matt Denham looks great. Uh, Howard Banjoman, you know, we, we, we've got a variety of guys that have really stepped up at the, at the running back spot. And so, you know, the fact that TJ's a threat to throw the ball uh, and, and we've got some uh, lethal receivers, uh, that, that coupled with the fact that the line's gelling, gelling together and, and the running backs are starting to really make some pay. I saw that, you know, last year. I think the guys as as juniors that you see uh, kind of encourage and kind of enforce, uh, you know, the, the platform that the seniors are laying, those usually are the guys that step up the following year and, and are your seniors, you know. And, and saw that, like I say, uh, even last year, you know, in, in Emory of Teague uh, with how he was in, a, in, a, in an encouraging uh, you know, roll with uh, Jordan Dalrymple's and Andrew Susie's and those kind of guys from, from last year. Uh, Jeremy Caldwell is, you know, really stepping up leadership role. Joe Arneson uh, in the offensive line. Uh, you know, so there's there's several guys I think that are that are really really stepping up. But I, I think just as a whole, and some of this goes back to the class before did a good job, you know, modeling for them. I think just the best senior class leadership wise, you know, that we've had, and that's an attribute. You know, to the 2008 seniors, the 2009 seniors, 2010 seniors, because every year it's gotten a little better. It's because everybody stepped up their game, and then they've had a good, good role model for, for what it is to, to be a leader. Yeah, don't don't know just yet. I'm gonna get with the coaches here at, at uh, probably. Uh, after the scrimmage on Saturday, check the injury report, see how we're looking. The, the, what's going to drive the scrimmage is numbers. If we've got the numbers to do it, we would like to do like we did last year and split them up and have an, an actual true spring game, uh, you know, a draft and, and put the teams and try to make it about as even as you can uh, and, and have a spring game. Uh, like I say, though, numbers are going to drive that. And, and usually it's, it's in the area of linemen. You know, if you don't have enough offensive or defensive linemen, that can that can uh, you know get get it done for you. That's usually the area where you, where you get concerned. So, uh, big thing's going to be this Saturday how we come out of that thing as far as health and, uh, and what kind of numbers we have to decide if we're going to do an offense versus defense and have a point system or if we're going to you know, divide the team up into.